Hi guys, this is Dr. Nick here again. Today, we're going to focus again on the sense of Imago, but from a different perspective. We're going to look at how the sense of Imago can actually physically test medications against us. So this goes back to the fundamentals of individualized medicine, where we can find the right dose for that medication or for that remedy or whatever it is for the person. And that's based on our physical scan that we do. And the interesting part is that even within the sensitive imago, what we can do is we can test the medication against a specific tissue or organ that we think needs it. So example, in this case, we're going to test medication for the lymphatic system against the lymph tissue. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. And as always, I hope it's informative. Hi guys, this is Dr. Nick here. Today what I wanted to do, I wanted to show you how we physically can test a medication or a, a drainage remedy or anything we have against our cells and see if it will benefit us and see exactly the type of dosage that we might take of it. So today I'm going to check one thing, I'm going to check a lymphatic remedy against the lymphatic gland. So generally you can check it against a specific gland if you want, or a tissue or an organ, or if you wanted to check generally, we would check against something called express monitoring, which is the whole body in general. But let's go into here first. What we would do, we go to the test button up here, and we put in the name of what it is. So in this case, it's a lymphatic remedy. So we'll put, uh, So then as you can see here, underneath there's, it says the doses that we want. So we know that this is actual drops. So we'll take it as a drops. And then we know the question now is how many drops will we take? And how many would it be in the morning, uh, midday, or evening time? So let's start with kind of the, the average amount in terms of what it says on the bottle. It says 20 drops, say three times a day. So what we do, we have the patient then hooked up to the machine, and once they're hooked up, what we would do, we would press OK as the technology then scans us, and the medication at the same time, to see if it's beneficial for us or not. Okay, so we can, we can test a few different ways to, to see what's going on. So you can hear that the buzzing or beeping sound just because if the contacts are lost that's what happened. But let's go even to a weaker dose just see how that is and see how it it does help overall if it changes anything. So again we hook up the patient to the machine and we press OK in order to see to be scanned against that. Where the medicine or whatever we want to test is usually or it should be in chamber N. So as we can see so far, just by looking at um, qualitatively, it looked like 10 drops per time today was not good, but it seemed like 20 drops was much better. But let's keep going and let's check 15 drops. And then we'll go to another screen and we'll check exactly what it means in terms of if there was any betterment or worsening, or if this medication is uh, good enough for us against for our lymph system. Okay, so one more we're going to try here. Okay, and maybe one last one, we'll go above um, the 20 drop mark, in a sense, we'll say 25 drops. And again, we're putting the type, so if it was a tincture, then it would be, we put that, if it was kind of uh, granules, we need pathic, then we put that, if it was capsules, etc, etc. So in this case, we're doing drops, and we'll do three times a day. So we'll set that up, and then we will check. And then the machine will test that remedy against us at 25 drops three times a day. Okay, so once we've kind of uh, did a few tests, what we do is we close this uh, window, <clears throat> we go back, and then there's a comparison area, so comparison of survey results. So what we do now is, in this screen, it's our our original scan that we've done for that day, which is the baseline. And then what we can do, we can funnel things down 
and then we can check exactly if we look to the right of that in terms of the physical changes that are were occurring. So the first one, this is at 20 drops three times a day, it says there's an improvement by 50%. The functional, the, it becomes a functional disorder because there's different ways. So normal is a, uh, our normal was a functional disorder. So our goal is to get it to um, normal in general. So in this case, our condition improves by 50%. Compensatory reaction increases by 6%. Um, so that's good so far, but let's check further. So we know this is the one when everything turned black inside. So on the 10 drops, maybe it's not enough for our system at this point, three times a day, so we need a little bit more. So now we check again um, at 15 drops, twice, uh, three times a day. And again, it's similar to 20 drops, but this one's a little bit better at 80% improvement overall. And let's check 25 drops. So in 25 drops, it seems like it's too much. It doesn't really help as much overall. But in this case, it seems like actual with the regular dose or the dose of 15 drops three times a day would be the most ideal from what we've seen so far. But we can uh, keep testing in terms of seeing any specific uh, dose we may think or if we think we should make a dose in one part of the day, like maybe do 40 drops in the morning only. We can test against that to see what's happening. And our goal is always to get more of these tissues functioning to yellow tissues. But overall, in this case, if we're looking at these kind of four results we have, we would see that in this case, this lymph um, formula that's against our lymph, the best dosage for this person would be 15 drops three times a day. So again, we can do this for many different uh, remedies or medicines that we do have or anything we want to input to see how it would react against our, a specific tissue or organ or against our whole system, which is under stress monitoring. And then that can focus our treatment and give the right information to our body so we can have the best outcome possible. So I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.